Hey everybody, I'm Ted Pommes and this is a CodeFlink tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to link your Rust edit to your Rust Steam files. So when you first open up Rust edit, the download link will be in the description. You will get this message. It says the program uses assets directly from the Rust install directory. Please select your Rust install directory to continue. So let's figure out where our Rust is installed first. With our Steam open, we're going to go to our library. So let's just type Rust over here. And then we're going to go right click properties, local files, and then click on browse. And this will open up the folder with our Rust files. So let's take a look at where it is. It's C, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, Rust. Back inside of Rust edit, let's click on select. Let's go to that location. So we are in the common folder. Let's click on Rust. Let's click on OK. And then it should open up the asset bundles. Give it a moment, and then we should get some more options here on the left. There we go. So quickly, let's see if it's working. Let's click on load map and then again, click on select. Let's go to that same location we were earlier and then let's go to our maps. And if you have been playing Rust, there should be some files over here. Go for one of the newer files, double click it and then click on load. And this should open up the map file inside of Rust edit and we can fly around and look at how it's made. And there we go. Successfully loaded. So now we can look around, fly around, etc. Move things move complete red towns and do all the fancy stuff that we can do inside of rust edit this is everything i'm going to show in this video next video we're going to dive more into the user interface and how to actually work with rust edit and the end goal is that eventually by watching all the videos you should be able to create your own maps from scratch and then hopefully have a lot of fun with your community or your friends playing on those maps as well if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below or follow the CodeFling link. This will link to the forum post about this video. And this is another place where you can try to find help and of course, help other people. Thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video.